Let me in your world, you know. Oh. So this is actually a really good question. The answer is both. If a poison or something that is poisonous expires, it can be more poisonous. It might be less poisonous or it might just be differently poisonous and maybe just poisonous to something else versus us. It's an example of something that becomes less poisonous over time. Cyanide will react with water in the air and turn into some other amide compound that is not as toxic. Fun history fact, the guy who uh, assassinated Franz Ferdinand, he tried to kill himself with a cyanide pill that was apparently expired and probably needed to pop like three more to make it happen. And so in this case, well, yes, the dose of cyanide wasn't as high as it needed to be in order for him to actually bite it. In the case of no, there's this chemical called chloroform. And you may have heard the term chloroform before because we used to use it as an anesthetic. And every once in a while on TV shows, you see somebody pour a bottle in a rag and then they go for somebody. It doesn't actually work that way, but it can if it's an old bottle of chloroform. Because you see, we stopped using chloroform when we figured out it was like neurotoxic. But it also turns out that over time, it breaks down into this other chemical called phosgene. And that's just really toxic. And the dose for phosgene to kill you is much lower than the dose for chloroform. So yeah, when they do that with an old bottle of chloroform, they're not knocking the person out. They're killing them. So to answer the question, it depends entirely on the substance and the dose. This is Kim Thug.